hello guys uh, last uh, the last tutorial i spoke about backup and backup and recovery and in this tutorial i'm going to do a live demo of um, backups different types of backup okay uh, how do we uh, do online backups incremental backups delta backups and how do we monitor those backups okay so for that uh, purpose i have just created a new database called sample I have not touched the database yet okay so let's see like what and all we can do uh, with a sample database uh, which is like created freshly okay so let me try to do an online backup now for that database sample okay so this is the syntax db to backup database sample online now okay so it throws an error saying online backup is not allowed because the database is not recoverable or a backup pending condition is in effect okay so um as as per the database uh, which has been created um, newly okay, it is not set for the uh, archive logging or you can say non non recoverable you can only do kind of a backup offline backup of the database and just do, uh, do the restore of the offline backup okay so to take online backups on a freshly created database we need to uh, set one parameter okay dbcfg for sample using okay so if you want more information about this parameter uh, you, you have to check my tutorial earlier tutorial where i talk, uh, i spoke about the uh, log arc math one database parameter okay set this to already okay now uh, let's see if i can take an offline back online backup now sample online okay so it's still throwing the same error right so at this point what we need to do is we have to first take an offline backup of this database okay so once you create the database make sure you set the log arc method to the desired value okay in this case i've set it to log retain then you have to immediately take an offline backup to bring the database uh, online kind of thing okay, so let's take an offline backup so in this syntax db2 backup database sample i've not given the keyword called online so it is going to take an offline backup okay so offline backup is done now let's see whether we can take an online backup of this database sample yes so we are done so uh, create the database make sure you update the log arc math 1 or log arc math 2 parameter and then you take the offline backup of the database and then uh, going forward you can take the online backup of this database okay um, so one thing we notice is like uh, by default the database does not allow offline backup so we have to uh, change some of the database parameters to take the online backups okay now uh, depending on your database version it is like um, the logs will be included in the online backup by default okay i think for 9.7 the default is to exclude the log and uh, like 10.1 and all i think i think it includes the log okay so basically uh, you, you make sure that uh, you have set up your script uh, depending on your db2 version or uh, you can specify include log or exclude log in your uh, command itself like uh, i will just show you db2 backup database sample uh, online okay. so i'm going to include the logs Similarly, if you want to uh, exclude the logs, also we can do the same. But I I highly don't recommend uh, using exclude option because if something happens to the log, then we cannot recover the database. Okay, so um, this is a command: db2 backup database sample online include logs, and db2 database sample online exclude logs. Okay. So we have seen offline backups, we have seen online backups, online backups with include logs and then online backup with exclude logs. Okay. Now I would like to uh, take incremental and delta backups. 
okay now my database is set up for archive logging so i should be able to take an online backup let's see whether we can take an incremental backup now so this is the syntax for this uh, sample online incremental okay let's see whether we can okay so again is throwing up an error saying uh, it's not configured for incremental backup okay so at this point what i will do is i'll just uh, this is a parameter called db db2 update dbcfg for sample to on i guess let's see okay so i've turned it on so if you m need more information about track mode parameter please check out my previous uh, video about the backups where i spoke about the track mode uh, parameter which is required to enable incremental and uh, delta backups okay now once you turn on the parameter let's see whether we can take an online incremental backup okay so again it will throw up a same error like it cannot do it so it's good to take a full backup okay so in this case what i will do is i'll just take a full online backup okay so the backup is done now uh, let's try the incremental backup okay so so what we have seen here is like to turn on the incremental and delta backup we have to set the track mode to on and then we have to take in full backup of the database the full backup can be online or offline okay and then we can go ahead with the incremental backup so similarly if you want to take the delta backup you just have to specify this keyword here online incremental delta okay so it will take the incremental backup also okay now uh, let let us look at the image like the the image which is created using the backup let's see the structure of that image okay so if you see here i've taken so many database backup images here right for the sample database okay by just looking at the image it is not possible for us to tell whether it's an online backup or an offline backup or it's an incremental backup right because it all looks same except the timestamp uh, when we took the backup everything else uh, looks the same okay so there are two important commands which we should know like when we are dealing with the backup images okay uh, one of the most important param uh, command is the db2 list history backup all for database sample okay so it is going to give all the information about the uh, backups okay so if you see uh, this para contains the information about my last backup okay okay so uh, i'll just go through some of the important fields here like uh, op means the operation what operation we have done so it's a backup and object means what object was uh, backed up it's a, it's a database okay and it tells the timestamp at uh, at which time we have initiated the backup okay uh, again type e i'll come to that because uh, i have a slide for this uh, what's the type of backup in this case it was a online uh, delta backup right so for online delta backup the type will be e okay and uh, what the logs uh, which were backed up okay so when we restore the online backup uh, make sure that we have this logs available for us okay so similarly for every backup uh, we have the logs information as well and the timestamp of the database okay now um, let's talking about the types here right now you see the slide here like uh, for offline backup the type will be f okay so pure offline backup again an online backup uh, full online backup the type will be n and for incremental backup it will be o and for delta backup it will be e okay so um, let's look at the thing here so the last backup was delta backup so the type is e and uh, we took an incremental backup before that so it says o okay then we took a full online backup right so that was n and before that we took one offline backup 
yeah so we took in one offline backup here so it's type f if you see the command also it says offline okay so this is how you can check the history file to see the sequence of backup what type of backup was taken okay and the other command is like for example your history file is corrupt or uh, you find you find some image on the disk uh, which you're not sure what uh, what that image is or what kind of information is there in the image okay and other thing if you see that in the list history command there was no uh, information about whether the backup images include the logs or not right so uh, using this command db2 ck bkp okay hyphen h uh, you can find uh, those information as well so for example i'm going to find information about the last uh, incremental backup i took right so let's see so if you see here um, it uh, tells you uh, the log path of that backup image that backup uh, uh, where the logs were getting generated for this uh, database okay and the two important things here is backup mode this is uh, this one is like online one means online zero means offline and one means on right so include logs so the backup image includes log okay so this command is very useful when you don't have the history file and you have an image and you want to extract some information from that image okay so there are many other options in db2 ck bkb you can uh, go ahead and check it okay so the most important thing which i usually check is the include log option whether it was uh, there in the image or not okay and similarly the log uh, file information okay and uh, backup mode is important because uh, you think if it's an offline uh, image uh, which, which means it will be zero then you don't have to uh, you don't need the uh, uh, logs in case you want to restore till the backup image right but if it's an online backup then you have you need the logs okay so either it can be in the image or it can be in your archive destination okay so uh, that was about the backup like how we uh, take our offline backup online backup the incremental backup the delta backup uh, like how do we mm, like make sure we enable the online backup the delta backups okay and the commands which we can use to identify the type of backup images okay now it is possible that you m you might be interested in like monitoring the backup right so there are two commands which uh, i generally use one is the db2 list utilities okay so if you run this uh, command you can see if the backup image is running so in this case uh, in this case it is not running so it's showing uh, nothing there no data was written right and the other command is the db2 top command okay this is a very good tool which you can use for so, uh, so many other purposes uh, i will have a tutorial on that separately okay but uh, i'm just going to show how you can uh, monitor the backup here so just give the db2 top hyphen d and your database name so in this case it's sample okay and if you see uh, here it say utilities uh, so you have to press uh, the small u okay and it will show like how much percentage it is completed and all those thing kind of information here let me see if i can do a quick demo here okay i'm just going to open one more window So let's see if okay so you can see here like the, the it's showing the percentage and 97 percent and it's completed okay so you can use that uh, db2 top as well uh, in case you want to monitor the backups okay so uh, that's all with the backup and the monitoring stuff uh, on my next class, I will be um, doing a live demo on the restore and the roll forward. Okay. Thanks for watching.